see twice today and I'm so excited. That's my taiyaki. I'm going to take that with me to the park that is quite popular here. Also, I don't know how the girlies keep their fringes, like one gust of wind and that's it. See? Because <laughs> it's a really nice day today. It's sunny. Yesterday was a little bit more overcast and I like the weather today and I'm so excited to see it twice. today it makes the vibes just amazing it's so pretty i think as well you can walk across the middle like there's more lake on the other side so i'm gonna find a good place to sit and eat my taiyaki and my iced coffee that i bought from the convenience store this is so nice but even when saturday ends i know i'll see you again I just want to stay here, but I can't because, well, I mean, it's not a bad reason. I'm going to twice. I think I figured out why I really enjoy being here. Since moving to Japan, especially, you know, Tokyo, I don't think I've been in nature almost the entire time that I've been in Tokyo. Like, the closest to nature that I've gotten was Yoyogi Park, but that was at night for a Christmas illumination. So I haven't really had a chance this whole last month to just be in nature, and it's so much quieter and peaceful, and I think I really needed this. I used to have one of these when I was a kid. I remember taking it from somewhere and I just always had it. We're done at the park, so now I'm going to grab some food and I'm running across the road like I shouldn't be. There's no crossing. Okay, I'm gonna grab Moss Burger, which is really close by. <laughs> Now I am heading to the venue. It is a 20 minute walk. We should arrive around about when the gates open. The show doesn't start until 7 pm, and I want to leave some time to look at the merch because twice Japan merch is at the next level. I also brought my to go drink. I don't know why she gave it to me, takeaway. Maybe she asked me and I didn't realize, and I said yes, but the buzzer didn't even go off. It was really weird. So I don't know. Anyways, let's go. Cool. Sir. 
My voice is gone. We're gonna go back to the hotel and then discuss. Hello, I'm back. I ordered some cocos and I have some leftover green tea. Dinner at 11 p.m. Yum! Let me show you. This is it. Yum! So twice were amazing! Right from the start, it was so busy, but the way that they organized everything makes so much sense. Just made the crowds move smoothly. I arrived and I was like, oh my God, this place is big. I wanted to get some merch because the merch here in Japan is different from the rest of the world. They get special merch. The line actually, it was really long, but it moved quicker than I expected. Let me show you what I got. You would have seen some of it already from the vlog, but I got this Momo picket. So this is the Japanese mascot. I was gonna get the Momo one, which is pink. They were sold out. I got Davalis, which is Diane's, only because I like the color. This is a makeup case kind of thing. And then I got four random trading cards. Once you like left the merch booth area, everyone was like holding these up to like trade. Isn't that so cute? Originally I had a Sana one. When I opened it, a girl like immediately came up to me and was asking to trade that one. Obviously I had to use my broken Japanese. She wanted to trade my Sana for one of the ones that she had, but I really like Sana. She's top three. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. And she offered to like buy it off me. I was like, oh, I'd only probably trade it if you had Momo. You know what she did? She went away and found a Momo one and came back to me and she's like, I have a Momo one. That's how I ended up with my my one. I traded somebody for Jihyo. I think this was one that I originally got that I kept dying. I'm not gonna lie, I was feeling a little bit anxious because of how busy it was and you know I'm talking to people who I don't speak their language well. It was like a little bit stressful, not gonna lie. But I wanted to I wanted to participate. So I'm I'm proud of myself to participate. And then I got Jung Young. So the girls that traded the Momo gave me these. I don't know if these are like legit. And even if they're not, they are really high quality. This is my top three liner right here. I also really wanted to buy a picket cover, but they were all sold out except for Jung Young's, which kind of makes me sad. I feel like people don't appreciate her enough. I took some pictures and it was really nice because I was like struggling to take photos. So obviously I went on my own. A man offered to take my picture, which I thought was really nice. So we went in and I had to find my seat. My ticket is in Japanese and translated. It was still really confusing, but I managed in the end. I was really happy with the seat that I got. If you don't know, in Japan, you don't really get to choose your seat. It's a luck of the draw. I was actually at the end of the row. I like to be there because it gives you more space. I also ended up talking to the girl next to me. We just were chatting a little bit, which was really cute, obviously with our broken Japanese and English. It's nice to be able to talk to the person next to me and not feel like completely alone. At the start of the show, the girls like rise up from the stage. And then I realized that I couldn't see them. It was too far off to the side to actually see the main stage. Anytime they were performing like way at the back of the stage, we couldn't see anything. 
anything. I'm happy regardless because I could have had worse scenes. They performed most of the same songs as when I had seen them in Melbourne, except in their solos, they did a new dance breaks. And because we were in Japan, twice have Japanese songs. And most of the time they don't have a license to perform them in other countries. They performed so many Japanese songs. Also in Japan, they go hard on the fan chants. If you want to go to a K-pop concert in Japan or probably Korea as well, learn the fan chant. I didn't know most of them, so I was just there like, at least everyone around me did the feel special fan chant which if you haven't seen my tiktok of me doing it in melbourne and i'm like the only one doing it yeah i think the highlight of the concert in japan and korea sometimes k-pop groups like twice will go in like a little cart and like go around this area in the cart and when i sat down and i saw that i was like is this what i think it is and it was they went around in the carts they were like little christmas carts it was so cute most of the members still have like full energy which is crazy because they've been touring literally almost all of this year those girls have stamina that's enough ranting about k-pop overall i'm so glad i went i'm really glad that i flew down here to fukuoka to see them it's a whole different experience seeing a k-pop group in japan it was so fun now finish eating my dinner i have to fly back to tokyo tomorrow morning i don't know how much i'm gonna vlog tomorrow i feel like this is probably a good time to wrap up the vlog i hope you enjoyed coming along with me on this trip to fukuoka you watching means the world to me that you have sat down and spent all this time watching me Thank you for watching. I love you all. I will see you in the next video.